everyone welcome back to part two of my commentary on chasing atlanta season four episode eight so the episode started out with where it left off where dominique and everyone else was having a couple's date <coughs> so dominique said that oliver twist is an act and he said that Twist's boyfriend was acting a fool and Rico friend as well you know in the last episode they all had gotten upset and I know in my last video I recall saying that Oliver shouldn't bring his boyfriend around the crew and apparently I was right Twist removes himself from the table because he's not in the mood for all of Dominic's pettiness Dominique invites the cast members to an axe throwing to relieve some stress after what happened at the dinner. So we're on the next scene. So Twix was not invited. It was just the crew that the guys that usually hang out. And really Travis. So Travis he barely threw the axe as if he didn't even want to be there actually throwing the axe. That's what I got from that. Because I know he's stronger than that. So, everyone was sitting down at the table having a discussion. And Dominique told Kendra that Lauren got an audio recording of their conversation. Now, y'all, one thing I know is about Dominique. <clears throat> Dominique also keeps him on a fresh pair of messy boots as well. He's usually the shit start if you will that's what i have been noticing about dominique since he came on the show now he didn't start off at the very beginning but i noticed that he likes to stir the pot like he always has something to say about what so and so said and i don't think that's right if they have something to say to someone allow them to come say it to them themselves okay so moving on Kendra said that she didn't give an F. Kendra said that she did call Jalen. And she didn't refer to her as Lauren, if you notice that. Because her situation isn't that deep with her as it is with Twix. <coughs> Again, you told Twix that you didn't really have no beef with him. Whatever, girl. Travis told Kendra that she should stop using her hands to fight and use her mouth. And Brandon said, and I totally agree, 1,000%. And Dominique, boo, sweetheart, you stir the pot too much. That's on period. And I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't be the next one fighting. Because someone's going to get upset. And Dominique may just be the next one you see on this show throwing hands because he likes to keep a mess on the bone carrier if you will Dominique said that Troy tried to fight him and I believe it when I see it I really don't recall Troy trying to fight him maybe that happened that didn't happen on the show Travis having an event and he wants everyone to come to his rejuvenation party it's an all white party he wants everyone to get to know each other with no drama at his event Kendra said that she won't answer she wants her that she wants answers so that she could finally move on and I totally agree and I feel like also I would have been moved on when we had that fight that would have been the period on the end of that fight right there was understood don't need to be explained apparently they don't want to talk about it anymore I think Travis is a um, the part that he's given, I believe that it's a bad idea, in my opinion, considering the fact that neither one of them can get along. And things could go from zero to a hundred real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me, Dominique and Troy meets up at Cameron's apartment. Troy said that he's not everybody else. He doesn't play when it comes to his events. Basically, he don't tolerate people cutting up, acting up at his events. 
like what we have been seeing lately. So, they want to know why Twist didn't jump in a fight when Troy was fighting for him. Cameron feels like Oliver needs his ass whipped for not jumping in a fight. Huh. Checkmate. Troy hit the nail with the hammer when he said the same thing that I've been saying all along. <clears throat> that Wayne is definitely the cause of the BS because he's a shit starter. The bone carrier. And he goes back and tells Kendra everything, okay? Whatever you want to call his messy ass. I'm glad that Dominique and Troy are back on good terms, however. So, we get to Imani Van Zapp. And Imani Van Zapp nailed it on her commentary, okay? As always. So, yeah. She tells... The fellas, the girls, to fix their shit. Basically. So we're going to move on to Twix. Twix was at Dr. Heavenly's house, guys. Dr. Heavenly stores on marriage and medicine. So she hired him to be her creative director for her YouTube channel. Um, congrats to Twix on that. Landing that gig, Cameron. Is now an event planner that's what he says he's doing I'm sorry an event promoter that is what Cameron is doing now and Lauren said that she don't want to be around that mess so she did not show up to his event at all that's just how Lauren is she tries to avoid drama at all costs Oliver got a recording of the conversation that he and Lauren had so that's the rumor going around you know all of us say he has a recording as well Q and Travis so Travis and Q are talking Q is back in ATL they meet up with Lauren and Cameron Travis said that his grandfather and grandmother died sorry to hit her Cameron asked Q what was going on with him with him in Twix. Q said he had, I'm sorry, Q said that he don't know where things went south. Q also said that he don't have no beef with Kendra. Because Kendra was claiming that she was upset. She had some going on with her and Q as well. She was told she said that she's mad with the power of three, which is all three of them. Q, Twix, and Lauren. That's the power of three. He also said that if Wayne wanted to fight him, he would have rocked him in the Uber that they shared. <clears throat> and I totally agree. If Wayne really had a problem with you, y'all would have settled it when y'all were face to face. <clears throat> so at this point, Q said that if Wayne had clients as much as he had his name in his mouth, he would actually be working now. So Travis wants to set up a meeting with Q. And he wants Laura to be there too. As the mediator. And like I said. Travis. He seems like the one on the show. That's trying to get everyone to come together. Um, so. Q called him T.D. Jakes. Pastor T.D. Jakes. And Travis said that he doesn't want Wayne there because he wants Kendra to be there by herself without her sidekick boosting her up. And I agree, Kendra needs to show up without Wayne there. That's the root to her problems in my opinion. He's not managing her properly. Instead, he's keeping her into a lot of drama, which is giving her a bad rep. Laura's first song performance and I loved it. I really do like that song, guys. It's a bop for me. The name of the song is Funny. Go check it out. Q and Twix meeting. We get to the meeting, finally, where Q and Twix can have a sit-down to find out what's really going on. So, it has been over a year and a half since Q saw Twix. Oliver said that he was late because he got into it with his mom. 
and his friend also died and he stayed in his white pants and I'm like dang Twitch you really had a bad day for real where did it all go wrong in our brotherhood that's the question that was asked what killed in Twix's brotherhood where did it all go wrong so the text messages it was a joke he said it was a joke that he was homeless and that's not a joke. I don't find that funny at all. Q said if Alva was his friend, he should have not allowed other people to talk about him. And I totally agree with Q on that. He should have cut them off and not allowed them to disrespect him, period. Q said that he never did allow anyone to, a chance to talk negative, negatively about Twix. He never allowed them to say bad stuff about his friend. And he also expected the same thing in return from Oliver. Because he considered him as a brother. And then Gardini's name came up. And why am I not surprised? Um, Gardini, in my opinion, also... On the last, what, last season that he was on, he also did keep up a lot of mess amongst the group as well. So, I was not surprised to hear Gardini's name pop up. And, Gardini, if I recall, Gardini, something happened between him and Lauren where Gardini stole her business name from her. So, he did a lot of dirty shit on the show as well. And that's probably why he's not on this new season. Q feels like you're not loyal to him and you violate the brotherhood that y'all want to share. So, guys, <coughs> excuse me. That was in the episode. They will be showing us the what happens during their meeting because that was just only part of the sit down that they had. Hopefully, on this episode, they can reconcile their differences. And that's the end of my commentary, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Check out my new playlist, what I think about that. And you all have a blessed day. Bye now.